Good evening, this is James, without the sunglasses, because I'm shooting something mostly for my own reference, so I won't forget it later. Right now, I'm trying to make my very first 3D video. I took this new camera that I have in my hand right now, and mounted it on a little bracket. Uh, let's see. There's one key piece. Well, first you need two cameras if you're going to try to shoot 3D. Second thing you need if you're going to try to shoot 3D, something like this. Little bracket meant for attaching. Well, there's lots of these brackets that are available in uh, a place that has a lot of tripod type stuff. Brackets like this are meant for attaching two cameras to a tripod or maybe a flash and a camera. Got one of these. Got two cameras, the HF10 and the HFS11. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get PowerDirector to behave. I went back and saw my old video number. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Video 199, tweaking PowerDirector 7 PIP object position and size. <clears throat> this one's a little bit difficult, a little bit different, because I've got to do sort of the same thing, but I've got to reduce the two videos inside. And once you try to deform videos, uh, PowerDirector 8, by the way, pretty much cured the problem I tackled in this video 199, in that they didn't uh, snap to grid. The videos didn't snap to grid when I was trying to move them around. That was taken care of, but I do believe that sort of goes away if you there's a checkbox for maintaining aspect ratio and the properties of each PIP object. If you uncheck that, then the snap to grid more or less goes out the window, particularly with uh, in regards to size. So if you're trying to make a video such that the left hand, well, basically what you have to do is make sure each half of the video is its normal height but half its width and the left hand camera has to be on the left, the left hand camera's image has to be on the uh, video has to be on the left, and the right hand camera's video has to be on the right. And it's hard to get them in the exact right position, in the exact right width, and the exact right height if you've unchecked that box for maintaining, maintaining aspect ratio. So I went back to video 199, and that taught me about uh, the, let's see, the PDS. All the files that PowerDirector uses for its project to end in PDS and editing them in Hidemaru. Uh, Center X and Center Y are still useful, except that one of your videos will have a Center X of 0.25 and the other one will have a Center Y of 0.75. Let's see, is Center Y. Right, Center Y for both of them is 0 0.5. And right around that area, for both, let me see if I can put the camera on the screen here. Here I've got a center X, and that one is set to, what's the next line there? Point two five. that point two five right there in the middle there. Center X point two five. that's for the left, uh, the left hand camera. Center X, let me hit F3 again so I can search down to the next one. This center X here is set to point seven five. That's the right hand video. And center Y again is zero point five. Now where was the other one? Yes. Width. This has to be point five for both of them, so I'm going to trim that down to exactly 0.5. I got it close, but not quite. And there's a height here that's 0.999485. That has to be just one. So how do I do this? I'll go back to the top. Just hit control home with the, my right hand here. Hit F3 again to look for the first occurrence of center X. And there's center Y. Here's width, 0.5, where's height? Height is 1.00, what is that? 5252, cut that down to one, save. 
And I should be good to go. So hopefully my first attempt at the 3D video will be something worth watching. It's of a band called Surge. The guitar player, uh, the guitar vocal of that band speaks English just about as good as I do. His name is Joseph. The band name is Surge. They're out in Chiba. Give him a look if you have a chance. If you like grunge, if you like grunge pop. They're a lot of fun. Hopefully this video will work out and uh, show them at their best. <laughs>